Hey guys, welcome back. By popular request, we have my boy Ryan Belton here back on the channel. As you guys saw from the thumbnail, we know everything Rolex is going to do over the course of the next 12 months. Never mind, I'm lying to you. Um, <laughs> no one knows what Rolex is going to do. We do this video every year, and I think it's one of our favorites. Yeah. Um, we're going to try to predict what Rolex is going to do uh, next year with the upcoming uh, Watches and Wonders and all their new releases. Oh yeah. Frankly, I've never met a company like Rolex where uh, no one knows what they're going to do. I don't, I don't know if Rolex knows what they're going to do. <laughs> they um, throw things at the wall until it sticks, I guess. Year over year over year, uh, Ryan and I will sit here in front of the camera and try to apply logic to a company that defies logic. This year in particular is going to be really strange. For those of you who don't know, Rolex is kind of they've kind of jumped the fence. They've been a manufacturer of some of the finest watches for a hundred years. This past year, they bought Bucherer, and yep. now they are a retailer as well. So um, we haven't really talked about it a lot on the channel. I'm kind of holding my breath and waiting and seeing what happens with all this. So by that note alone, Rolex is going to have to uh, come at this year from a different angle. Yeah, It's um, gonna be really, really weird. Enough of me pontificating. Let's get into production. Predictions, Ryan. Give me your first prediction. Well, kind of jumping off of what you just said, uh, are they going to make a Bucherer blue dial? Uh, we kind of know that's the the, the trait Ooh. of that company. Is there, you know, a stainless steel Submariner in blue with a black bezel, or you know, kind of like double signed. Yeah, like kind of like a double signed. Ooh. Since they are a retailer now, like supplying <laughs> something only for their retailer would actually make sense to me. Not necessarily a Submariner, but something in blue and something for for them. That would be hot. Uh, or no other. <laughs> <laughs> can do it, uh, which would be kind of a cool thing and a bad thing, I think. Kind of piss a lot of people off, but I, <laughs> it, 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 I think it's uh, something that could be on the agenda, maybe not this year, but maybe in the years to come for them. And I say this every year, Coke bezel. Yep. Um, yep. It's the only one we're missing, and I've heard rumors now that the Pepsi might be going away. Uh, if you take a black light to a Pepsi, you could see the red underneath the blue. They're obviously having trouble with the, with this, uh, make, making that bezel over and over again, so maybe black's the issue. Or a black's gonna be the replacement, so black and red instead of blue and Red. Man, I just um, don't see it. Uh, I've, I've, it is a crescendo this year that that Pepsi's going away. Um, right. Everybody. I, I don't see it happening either. Everybody's actually. predicting it, and and from from our side of the counter, uh, whenever I hear something like that, that's usually a guy trying to sell me a Pepsi. Correct. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a guy you, sitting you on gotta a, buy it high. You gotta a buy stockpile high. of Pepsi's going. Oh, it's gonna get discontinued. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Because um, for, for me. The, the 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 blue red the super and the Pepsi whatever you want to call it yep. uh, that is genesis for the the Rolex's modern GMT yep. uh, the GMT Master GMT Master Two the yep. old Bakelite bezels there's always been a blue red yeah um, but again trying to apply logic uh, it, it would be groundbreakingly shocking for them to discontinue it but who knows yep. um, what I would like to see dovetailing onto that I think a couple people are also predicting this um, we even already have a nickname for a watch that doesn't exist but that um, that black gray bezel that came out this yeah. past year in yep. the yellow gold, the yellow gold. Uh, which is a great watch it's one of my way. favorite releases yeah. nostalgic I absolutely loved it God I would love to see that in steel that would be awesome kind of um, kind of a new version of, uh, of, of yours, yours, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I want in our jubilee yes and and yes. i forget it was some instagram post or whatever but they were affectionately calling it the bruce wayne and i'm like oh my god i love that so much i but like I, like bruce i want to wayne will that into existence yeah, yeah, i want to put please. that out there on rolex if you're watching please do that that would be awesome they're not watching they're not watching no. um, <laughs> <laughs> so i would like to see more in titanium as well? I, I think, yeah, this year, I think it would be nice for them to expand on that titanium line. We saw it last year with the Yacht Master. Well, and that's also my problem, though. I, I want them to expand on something I still haven't seen yet. <laughs> um, I don't know I don't know if you guys have seen one yet, but Live, but, yeah. but yeah, but that, that titanium Yacht Master they did last year, I thought, I thought was so good, I didn't bother to even review it. Because, yeah. like, y'all know, it's going to be perfect. It's going to um, be a good watch. Yeah. I haven't seen one live. Nope. Not on wrist, not not anecdotally. And then that that monstrosity 50 millimeter thing, um, right. I'm okay with not seeing that one. That's a, That can stay esoteric and, and out in the ether. Yeah. I'm fine with that. But um, I think titanium is a wonderful metal for watches. Um, I love the fact that Rolex has started to dip their toe in that water. Yep. Um, and maybe not even necessarily sport watches. You know, bring it into something, you know, do, do a Jubilee in titanium. I think. That would just be like mind blowing. That would be kind of cool. Um, you you had a repeated one 
I need to repeat one as well. I think this year <laughs> um, there might be a 41 GMT as well. God, we're going really GMT heavy. That's weird. Yeah. It's, I, I predict this the past couple of years. They changed the tooling on the Submariner to make it a 41. Slimmed the lugs, widened it, made it a curve again, did all that kind of stuff to it. And the GMT Masters are still on that old chassis. They're still on the old 40 Monster case. Make it Makes all one. no sense. Yeah, streamline it. Yeah. Um, especially when you're in a position where everybody wants your product and, and you seemingly can't make enough to satisfy the desire out there. I've got a great idea. How about not doing two toolings in your family? How about just doing one, one. one basic case and make that your case? But again, uh, you all heard me rant about that before, but this is the year, trust me. <laughs> I think also uh, more exhibition backs this year. Uh, oh, they started it kind of with the I, Platinum I Daytona. Like lot, they, uh, yeah. they expanded upon it with the Le Mans edition mm -hmm. Daytona. Best watch I ever. still want to see in person. Yeah. That watch looks amazing. Yeah, if you have one, please travel here. I yeah, would love yeah. to see it. Please, please. Uh, or sell it to us. That'd be great. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think we can afford it. <laughs> so, uh, no, I got buyers for it. I could see them doing more exhibition back, maybe even in the steel line, things like that, opening up to, again, a GMT. Maybe I, a Coke I would, with I would love to see it across the board as long as it doesn't somehow mess with the structural integrity. I mean, that that's oh, why yeah. they didn't put a, a magnifier on the, the sea dweller for so long. It was just because they couldn't handle it or whatever. So I don't know if we'll see it on dive watches, but it's so funny for like a relatively unadorned movement. I still want to see it. Oh, absolutely. You know, I, yeah. I, I think they do beautiful work. Uh, th th there's something um, uh, really intrinsically appealing to something that is done purposefully, not not all, all decorated for no reason. You right. know, I, I, I like it for that. The utilitarianism of it is, is really, really cool. Invariably, we will see some some more pops of color. Yeah, I was going to say the, the wild card for this year. Last year, we got the, the puzzle dial with the emojis and, you know, all sorts of... Still not the, my favorite. The, the Wonder Bread <laughs> dial, the Celebration dial, whatever you I call still it. love so, the Celebration dial. Yeah, so. um, I thought that was just uh, an absolutely stunning watch. Um, really, really made me happy. Um, Biz and I did our, our watches of the year to the, um, uh, the 1905, 1908, whatever. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I, would, I would love to see them flesh that line out a little bit because that's the first dress watch that's ever actually like looked like a Rolex to me. Yes. Not like Rolex doing somebody else's watch. The you know? Yeah, yeah. 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 And, I mean, it's so along those lines. It's still a, a dress Rolex, if you will. But um, I, mean, I, I thought that one was really heartfelt. Yes. And, and, and I liked it for that. So um, hopefully we'll see more, more thoughtfulness. Um, and, and even... The puzzle dial wasn't my favorite, but I do understand it. I, I like Rolex being a little bit more playful and kind of breaking out of, of, of yeah. these And for these a great things. cause, too, I mean, to be honest with you. That, oh. was, that was for autism and all, all those things, So, um, which was which was really cool for them to kind of venture off into that avenue. But I still would have liked, like, two watches and, like, one massive auction, you know? Like, like here's $40 million do, do, to do autism. Do the one-off you know? auction yeah, that yeah, yeah. Yeah. else does? Yeah. Does Rolex <laughs> actually do that one or no? Um, they have, yeah. Oh, they have, okay. uh, but but it, they didn't even happen this year. There was some controversy with that. that. Yeah, that was like oh, a whole, whole thing. Whole different video. That's for a different yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so in summation, thank you for watching. Um, yeah. As always, we really do appreciate you guys watching. Um, uh, if you like this content, please subscribe. If you're traveling, uh, we're in Aspen. We're all over Scottsdale right now. Um, if you want to come and meet us, that, that's always awesome. We love meeting our, meeting our fans. But um, please like this video and, uh, and apologies for the little bit of gaslighting up front. Um, no, no one knows what Rolex is going to do, but we've got some ideas. So um, hey, do me a favor. Comment below. Tell us what you think they're going to do. Yeah. Curious.